I've decided to do a tutorial to show you what the best project settings are and also the best render settings. Um, first of all you'd want to start with your project settings and usually when you add a clip you're going to get prompted to um, basically select your project video settings if you want it to match the media that you're using. Um, and if you select yes then it's basically going to match what video you've just added. Now problem is, is if you have other videos that you want to add, say with lower frame rates, this isn't going to work. Um, as an example, say if you add the clip um, and you want it to match this video and you don't get prompted with that message, if you go to project property settings, select this icon here to match the media, all you then got to do is find that video or a video similar to it that you're going to be using just select it and press open and it will select it for you. Now it should automatically select the frame rate which I'm rec recording in 60 frames per second. You want 30 tip, uh, 30 tit, huh, 32 bit floating point that should automatically be set anyway. Um, you've got your full resolution rendering quality is what you want. Um, generally your audio you'd want 48,000 that should automatically be selected as YouTube doesn't take much higher than that I believe. Once that's sorted you press OK. Now sometimes I like to um, record in 2.7k with my GoPro um, but also in 60 frames per second. So say if I was adding that clip I would still keep this project property settings to 1080p purely because my final render will be in 1080p. Um, to then go into your render settings obviously you, you'll highlight the, the video or the area that you want um, you then press your render button and hopefully you might already have some presets. Um, all you need to select is say something like Internet HD 1080p. Um, I've got my own here and go on customize template and this is obviously when you can um, get the quality to match generally what you've, uh, your quality of your original video was. So. If you're recording 1080p or you're recording this 2.7k but you want to render down to 1080p, obviously select 1080p at the top. Make sure your frame rate is selected. Now, problem is if you go to render a 30 frames per second clip, but most of your videos are 60 frames a second, you would want to render in 60 frames per second. But what you'd want to do is right click on the clip that's 30 frames. Go on to um, yeah, switches and you should have an option to dis disable resample. Um, it will make it a little bit smoother. Um, back to the render. So you'd want to uh, just double check that frame rate. Go on non-progressive, um, your pixel ratio is 1. Using deep blocking filter, that's something I tend to use. Sometimes you get some pixelation, um, then you can cut that down by using this. I believe you, one of your highest numbers to go to is 14 but I believe it uses more RAM, so sometimes my computer actually cuts out. Um, the bitrate, we want to basically select an average bitrate, and um, by doing that, all you need to do is right click on a video that you've been using, check the properties, and go on to details. Um, and here's your total bitrate here, it's 44,900. Now, um, your data rate's 44, so what I'll tend to do is I'll add um, an average of 44,000 and a total bitrate I'll actually do up to 46 because some of my other videos may be just above 45,000. Um, so you know if I put that to 45,000 and some of them actually max that then your quality is going to be a little bit less. So I put my maximum up to 46. Now some of yours may vary. If for example you have a 2.7k clip with your 1080p clips they'll have a higher bit rate so you know you can put your average bit rate as 45,000 if it's if it is that um, and say one of my clips is 60,000 um, then you can use the maximum bit rate up to 60 um, it doesn't generally matter too much but um, if you put it at 46,000 it won't make too much of a difference to the quality purely because of the uh, the original raw file is 2.7k so it's going to be a good quality anyway Audio is 48,000, um, same with the bitrate 192, um, there's nothing in your system. Uh, project is your video rendering quality would want to be at the best, because if it's on draft, it will render quick, which is good, but then it will, um, you know, won't look as good. Um, 
and that's pretty much it. Um, you just got to make sure that you check these. Obviously, you can use a deblocking filter if you want. It will just with some of the sharpened edges, it actually smoothens it as it moves. You can't really tell by it by eye, but um, it does make a difference, and I tend to use it all the time. One thing that you might notice when you upload to YouTube, it might be a bit pixelated. Sometimes it's just the YouTube servers, but sometimes it is due to your render. Um, hopefully that helps, um, and if you want more, then just let me know.